you kind of have like almost like a young philosophical, like you're a young guy with a mature philosophical outlook. I, I think that's really cool. So this is, you know, the world record holder, the greatest guy ever. So that's a cool thing, right? I mean, I geek out on this too. When I get to see Krauser, I mean, he's like by far, not just like he set the world record and which I said was always about Krauser was, yes, it solidifies that he is the absolute greatest ever, but his number and volume of throws over like 22 and 2250, he just like crushes everybody historically. Like you can combine all of these great throwers the amount of throws and they don't add up to what he's done. So he's, he's really is just absolutely amazing. So Agreed. here's this six, seven, 320 pound guy who moves like, you know, like a, like a ballerina, the guy's incredible. And then here's Zane Weir at six, three, a hundred. And what were you, uh, were you 114 kilos at the games as well? No, I was 112 with the games. Oh, so you were so, lighter. I mean, more or less, exactly. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, it's it's pretty incredible. Now, to put it in perspective, too, like I was talking about how how impressive, you know, your, your results are, you threw further than Tom Walsh threw in Rio. Like, Tom Walsh only threw 2138 and got a bronze, right? You threw 2141 four years later. Those three guys all threw essentially a meter further. It's, it's absolutely yeah. insane, <laughs> insane, right? The, the, so uh, talk about your technique and how a guy that weighs, you know, 248 pounds is in the Olympic final. You're the, you're the lightest guy in the Olympic final. I know that without even having to look anything up. <laughs> right? Sure. <laughs> so, um, so talk about like, I, I, I see, you know, and this is kind of similar to some of the stuff I teach. You look like you have a, a more active, um, uh, you know, you're, you're, tr you're consciously looking like you're trying to open the, the left arm more aggressively, but in a controlled way, I always say you open the arm, not the chest, right? Because if you open the yeah. chest, you're going to fall into the throat. So you're creating mm. this sequence, obviously between the lower body and the upper body. We take this and we put it into the six pillars. Funny enough, I told you I train mechanics. And then you'd said something earlier, you got to react. And that's what I teach my throwers. When we throw, we react. We don't think we react, yeah. right? We do drills Perfect. and we do progressions and we figure out mechanics and then we react. So how you, when you do your offset, tell me at any point where you want me to set, like how, and, and again, depending on how much you want to give away or how much insight you want to, of you course. know, I know. So um, <laughs> the, the, the left arm action, like Krauser, you know, you see what I would say is He's a ch more chest over arm, shoulder, chest connected, long path. Yeah. And whereas to me, you look like you have a little bit more active, right? You're, you're not as big as him. So speed start to finish. That was something I had talked to Joe Kovacs about a couple of years ago. He said, Ryan's so much taller than me. I've got to be fast, right? I, I've got to use my speed. And he's a freak, like, joe's like sub superhuman strength levels on top of it right yeah, so exactly. so with you with the left i notice how it it, it it's kind of looks to me like it's an active left side upper body to to kind of i call it pulling yourself kind of you open it and pull yourself into the throw and then at what point like and it looks like you consciously obviously try to stop the arm here so that you can wrap your body and kind of snap it into the power position. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. So, so, yeah. So I, um, when I, when I think, I think heavily coming out the back, I, I don't even think about the arm. I think about the, uh, the left leg. Okay. Um, I want to, I'm basically just waiting until my toes are kind of pointing the direction that I want to throw. And okay. that's for me, that's the hardest part of throwing is waiting for that, for that left leg. Mm -hmm. Um, to, to completely turn, you know, um, right. a criticism of my own technique is that you can see the angle of my, from my hips through my shoulders in comparison to Ryan, I lean a hell of a lot out the circle yeah. uh, towards into the circle, which uh, is not good for me because that takes the shot ball off the axis. Um, 
And so, you know, that kind of makes the 7.2 kg a little heavier when it's when it's not above your, your hips, you know. Right. Um, I'm very lucky, I think, for whatever reason, I haven't worked it out. I don't know why. Uh, I've got a few theories, but I'm very lucky that I'm explosive. So I get under it quite quickly. Uh, and I think that is something I like to work more on is just keeping the shoulders a little bit more back. You can see Ryan's uh, heel is uh, infamously low. And right. Not too bad, actually, in this one. But what that allows you to do then is it takes your center of gravity more out the back of the circle it gives you a wider whip around mm -hmm. and that's basically what you're looking for you want your right foot as far away from you as possible because that's the central fugal force that kind right. of generates and um i don't think about anything else after the left foot hits the ground apart from waiting for it to hit the ground again and then the rest kind of just takes care of itself it's like autopilot right um so my only my only sensations I kind of focus on is the left out the back and the left in the front and then okay. everything else kind of you know <laughs> um, just bleeds into each other. Very um, nice. Yeah, you know I call this so my my system we call this you know your wind up I call it pillar one and there's a lot of important okay. variables and in the start you know and then this is what I would call the hinge, the hinge is the, the left side. We refer to the ankle, the knee and the hip. And I coach my throwers. It's a, it moves like three hinges on a door. They move in unison. And that's yeah. the axis that sets up the, the throw, the upper body is going to follow. Um, mm. And so for you, how much do you focus on like with your setup? How much of this is, did you guys work on? None. None. So to be honest, it was kind of like, you know, I did that because it's when I was younger, it's what I saw the other guys do. Okay. And, um, you know, now it's almost just, it's, it's almost habit. It's not even uh, necessarily conscious. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's very, you know, I kind of do it just to get a bit more, you know, I, mean, I, I almost think when I think about it now, you know, I kind of, instead of taking the weight off the leg, I kind of might want to keep the weight on the left, but, but take it further from a, a rotational position okay um, whereas you know because i think for me especially not having too many throws with a correct technique you don't want to have too much variability uh, with your weight off that left leg you kind of want to keep that left leg you know under your body the whole time right um uh, so that's that's the other thing because i battle quite a bit with that that um you know those three are supposed to hinge together but my um, my hip often sinks back down mm -hmm. and yeah. um that that kind of gives me a problem so I, you know, like I say, I wait for that left to go. I've tried to focus a lot on the dorsiflexion of my of my right of my right leg, which is harder to do than um, one would think. Okay. Especially yeah. for me, but that 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 helps quite a bit with me. Okay. And uh, it just gives me such a beautiful wrap in the end. And I don't think about stopping that left arm. It kind of just happens because I know what it feels like to be in a good position at the end. And that's what I love about feeling as opposed to thinking about it. There's just too much to think about in that short space of time, as you said. And so I think that um, knowing what it feels like to be in the right position, you kind of just like you wait for that and then right. you throw. You don't, you don't worry about um, wrapping, rewrapping. I've heard all these terms when I was sort of kind of figuring out in the beginning, but um, at, at the moment, I'm not focusing much on rep and whatnot at all. Okay. It's more just what I'm doing out the back. So you're just, again very you're very reactive i think so yeah um, which has pros and cons <laughs> it, it does right mm. but um and ultimately you know i've been um I, you know I, I i coach i have a small club with developing athletes so i have athletes that are new and you're developing athletic ability and fitness levels and they're really raw and then i've had those young athletes that are you know they're I've had these kids that are, you know, six foot three. So was that one 191 centimeters? They weigh, exactly. three, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, what they're 130 to 140 kilos as high school kids. And, Crazy, you know, yeah. you know, and so I have, I've had a couple of kids that are 22 meter throwers with the 5.45. Right. You know, so, yeah. Um, so to even to throw 22 meters, even with a 5.45, you got to be doing a lot of things right. And these kids are just, they just pick up things so much easier. So it's a testament. Obviously, you're not going to be fifth at the Olympics and the best Olympics ever if you're not, <laughs> if, if you're not a, an exceptionally talented athlete, right? That, that's going to sure. be 
Um, so that's interesting. So um, I, I like it. So because you can, you know, so you you'd agree right here, a little too far forward, correct? Completely, yeah. Yeah. Completely. So so that being said, what what other is there anything else you would you would like to point out about your position versus like, do you think you know? Because Walsh has once you you look at Walsh and Krauser, they're kind of about the same. Walsh has the the sweep leg incredibly wide, right? Yes. So he really creates that extra speed as he as he transitions from here to here, right? That wide leg exactly. really going to whip you into position, yep. and then and then very similar to Walsh, this is where I would say like the left arm. I always we coach to take it out, and you you have that great reaction of this this path, which I think really allows you to finish. I mean, that's a great finish. I have to just give everything and I kind of just come up off the ground, which I think definitely works in my favor because it, it makes, you know, my 190 centimeter height, uh, hmm. maybe the equivalent of a 196 centimeter thrower that doesn't come up as high, you know, right? Um, because my release height is probably the same. It'll be interesting to see what that release height actually was between me and Krauser, if uh, how significant the difference is, because he's considerably taller than me. Right. But, um, you know, I, I do come up four or five centimeters, I think, higher up off the ground. Um, and that's why I'm not, I'm not even sure if that's a good or bad thing. Um, I think it kind of helps because, it, you know, I'm getting everything through. But if I were to think about it technically, you know, you kind of want your, you want to be on the ground while the ball's still in your hand. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I try to kind of just throw what, what, what feels good. And it's difficult because you can get caught up in the sort of nitty gritty of things. Um, yeah. And it's difficult because there's so much in the rotational technique to have a look at. And, and that's what I love and kind of hate about it. But um, that's why I focus so much on the feeling because it's like, you know when something feels sweet. And of course you can make adjustments, et cetera. But um, at this point, it feels really good that finish. And I kind of, yeah. Um, there, there's a lot more that I really want to focus on um, in the out the back of the circle that I think will help in, in this right. position. Yeah. That no. That's uh, I would I would uh, I would agree. It looks um, a lot of good stuff, and that yeah. I mean I I love how you're like like I said squared up the block the hip through. I mean that's a great position clearly. Thank good you. enough no. good, good, enough, good <laughs> enough for for a couple of personal bests right exactly <laughs> at the exactly. at the time you know i know you went better oh, after that no of course but i still i think still proud to in that in that setting um, you know it still means so much yeah.